So we're going to go ahead and jump right into this video. I was not going to make this video, but I decided, hey, why not? I have two products. I wasn't sure which one to get, so I got them both. We're going to find out which one I like the best here. We're going to actually use it. And then the other one is going to be my backup. Um, they're, they were each about 40 something dollars. Uh, so it's not like a huge investment. So that's why I was like, you know what? We'll try them both and see which one is my primary one. Um, the main focus here is how good it cooks the food. Basically, that's it. Um, I have full camping sets and, uh, I don't want to take this with me when it's solo camping. That's the primary purpose of this is just solo camping or road trip, something that'll work on a jet boil stove. So let's go ahead and show you what I got here and we're going to use it. So we have two, one from jet boil, one from Stanley. Uh, let's go ahead and show you jet boil. So it's kind of easier here. It comes with a nice little carry bag. I already went ahead and up and all this. I'm not going to do no unboxing. Anyways, um, it comes with a spatula and a nonstick frying pan. Uh, this one is slightly, larger than that one i believe um but basically you got this frying pan that you pop off twist off and then you can squeeze and unopen this all right got a little little uh, spatula nothing special it's kind of small but i mean this thing is a pretty compact system so here we have a nonstick frying pan pretty nice looking little pan it's very light i tell you that a lot lighter than that guy this guy right here is, a, is from Stanley. It's got a lid on it, pops off. You can probably use this lid to set, set your utensils or whatever if you're cooking. Um, it comes with a cutting board, which I think is pretty nifty. Um, and because of the extra accessories, I have a feeling this may be my choice, just, just so you know. It comes with uh, two sporks and a spatula that detaches. couple of plates and uh, this I don't know, silicone thing so you can grab hot stuff or set a hot frying pan and then lastly we have yeah, slide this back so you can squeeze this lock it slide this back forward now I'm in going over this is a multi-layered bottom uh, I'm not sure if it's like two layer or three layer, but it is a multi layer bottom. So it's supposed to um, provide more of an even heat across the board. So that's, that's basically it. All right. Um, I mean, this is attaches. That's basically it. So we're going to go ahead and just dive right into it and use it. I'm going to cook some eggs first. I'll cook one egg here and then I'll cook one egg there. And then what I'll see what else because I, I haven't had breakfast yet. So this will be great. And let me show you the stove that I'll be using. So I've had this for like 10 years. Um, it's a jet boil sole, pretty compact. It's got a little protector in the bottom that can function as a cup. Shit, scared the crap out of me. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna talk too much about this because this is not what the video is about. It's got a regulated heater or stove. Uh, it's got the uh, attachments, okay, for the, for the jet boil so you can use this as a little stove um it's got the little stand uh, this is my coffee attachment so we're not going to use basically most of that we're going to use these two and that um and this okay so see ya. that's it this is a stove right here um all you know all of this except for this if i get the smaller one it will it'll fit in this cup um so basically the idea is to when i'm traveling I can heat up my water, my coffees, and my soups or whatever in this thing, and I can cook extra food on a pan. So you can see what I'm trying to get to here, something light. Uh, so, like I said, this thing deploys and attaches over this. Because normally, this clicks on over here. But we're going to use this. Okay, so I threw a little olive oil on here. Um, I got it started. Just kind of starting slow. Don't want to get, you know, let it warm up. Uh, gently and because this is nonstick, as opposed to the other one being stainless, I, I, this is gonna win as far as like being able to ease, you know, clean it easily. Um, if you're wondering why I have this, this was my I was gonna use that as a camera stand for my tripod. Anyways, um, so I think this is gonna work better as far as 
nonstick by far. Uh, let's see if the other one is going to perform better than everywhere else to kind of make up for that. So let's let that warm up and then we're going to crack an egg. And it should be pretty warm. So I'm going to go ahead and crack an egg and give it a shot. I hardly do fried eggs, but I am going to uh, make a fried egg today. We're just gonna kind of let that cook a little bit. Um, we're gonna take this opportunity to kind of like try out the spatulas as well because the spatulas are gonna be going with their respective pans. Um, so the function of the spatula is also gonna play a role on what's gonna be my primary uh, pan. Let's try and flip it now. bad at flipping by the way. Just try to do it without breaking the egg. But that's it for a minute. So I don't think the jet boil is really gonna be an issue as far as you know cooking an egg and nonstick. That's pretty simple there. Um it seems to be pretty, so the Stanley has, like I said, that multi-layer, even heat, but the Jet Boy is a pretty thick uh, pan as well. So I don't think hot spots is really going to be an issue. So I don't know, this may be a little tough one. I have an older Jet Boil backpacking pan, ultra light, but it has hot spot issues because it's ultra light. Um, I hardly ever use that. I have that in the shed somewhere, and, and I hardly ever use it. Uh, so, so uh, I don't want to throw it away. I've had it for such a long time, and it's a good backup. But now it's going to be backup to a backup, or so, or somebody that I know needs a backpacking. So I'm going to say, hey, take this one. So I'm going to go ahead and take this egg off, and we're going to jump to the Stanley. So we're going to take this egg off. I have nowhere to set the egg without using my personal uh, home plates. So I'm going to steal a plate from Stanley. Um, take this off the, the heat. We're going to use uh, Stanley's silicone thing here. To set it down with us. I'll just set it in the stove here. If we're not home, I need to use this or something. Um, so the Stanley accessories are already kind of becoming useful here. So I am going to get the Stanley pan on there. Stainless steel, they say that you want to kind of let it heat up before you put oil and food. If you want to kind of help with the whole uh, nonstick. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to throw it on there and we're going to let it warm up and then throw some oil and it cook. So it is going to be a little bit more uh, prep to cook in order to not get sticky surface. But we're going to go ahead and jump right into that. So I'm going to throw a little water here and uh, they say when the water jumps around like that, that uh, the surface is no longer porous. You can see where I tried to throw some a little bit earlier. Uh, that right there basically doesn't stick, it like bounces around. And just So we're ready for some oil. Uh, then we're going to let the oil heat up and I kind of want to just season it a little bit. Um, let it, you know, let it under for a little bit and kind of wipe it off. Uh, you do want to kind of prep the stainless steel uh, pans when you do this so I'm going to heat it up and then I'll uh, throw my egg on there just going to let all that sit there for a little bit and I just realized just creating some smoke and my alarm may go off and I need to lower the heat on this now that it's basically seasoned I just crack an egg up in this. Just 
just gonna let this sit for a little bit. I'm gonna throw some uh, black pepper and salt. Let it sit for a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, attempt to flip this. Um, it's not gonna be as easy. Well, I don't know, it's actually, I mean, uh, it's not gonna be as easy to flip as the, uh, the dip oil. It's breaking up on me. So, I like eggs. That's gonna be a problem for me. Uh, so the egg flip is not as good as the jet boil. I want to let this finish cooking, and I guess I want to have scrambled eggs with them. So I'm going to be a little unfair to jet boil here and give uh, Stanley another shot. Clearly, jet boil has much better nonstick properties. That, that, that is clear. Um, right now, what I'm trying to find out is if I change the temperature a little bit, um, earlier I did drain out all the oil on this thing, um, so let me go ahead and just add a little bit of oil like you normally would. Bump up the temperature a little bit on the stove and try it again. Essentially I'm just trying to find out if uh, this will work for me. So clearly jet boil here wins in this area, but let's see if I can make this work for my needs. That should be pretty hot. Okay. I was looking a lot better. Let's take this for a bit. You know what? That's, you know that's fine. That means I get three eggs instead of two. I think we're good at uh, flipping now. So this. Uh, oh yeah, this thing's not sticking at all. Let's see. It. I'll let it sit a little bit more because it's still very liquidy. I don't want to break it. I think we're okay. I mean, it was really like just like 30 seconds of the last clip. Okay, so none of this is sticking. If I break it, it's going to be my flipping skills here. But you can see it's moving around real, real effortlessly. So. So clearly, you have to know how to use a stainless pan as opposed to a nonstick pan. A nonstick pan, you know, even dummies like me can make a egg not stick. It's gonna require a little bit of skill, a little bit of knowledge and how to when you use a stainless pan. So to rephrase my prior statements, the jet boil is great for most people. I really wanted to, the Stanley to win because it, it is a better built stove. It feels more solid. Um, and it feels like, I'm going to turn this off so it don't overheat. Uh, it feels more solid. And the stainless part of it means it's going to last you a lot longer. Just the uh, nonstick is nice, but nonstick wears out. If I take care of the Stanley properly, I'll have it in 10 years. I don't know if I can say the same for the nonstick, but maybe I'll update somewhere down the line as I use this. But I'm going to use the Stanley more. I, I already know it. If you're using a stove a lot, you really can't go wrong with stainless steel. Uh, so I'm going to eat these eggs, and then we're going to kind of like talk about, you know, my thoughts on these two, and maybe it'll help you make your choice. So I want to eat my I want to eat my breakfast. Mess up the grand, my wife's gonna kill me. All right, um, I'm gonna use one of the forks that uh, came with this. I'm gonna have some ketchup, some tapatio, enjoy my food, and then we'll, uh, we'll resume. Okay, so I've had my three eggs, I had a good breakfast. I don't want to drag this on too long, and I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you I'm gonna choose Stanley because. It has more, uh, it's more of an all-in-one system for me. It is heftier, 
you know, weighs more than the jet oil. But I like the stainless steel function of it, even though it requires a little more work to use the stainless steel function of it. Um, you know, provides great heating across two sports, two plates, the silicone mat, and the spatula is, I believe, is superior to the jet oil. It did take a little bit longer to clean it. It does take a little more effort to cook with it properly so you don't get it all sticky, just the way you saw uh, me do it. I was able to recover for it, but if you don't know what you're doing, that will be a horrible pan for you if you don't want to kind of take the extra time to kind of prep it. For most people, I would say the jet oil is going to be good for you. The nonstick part of it is awesome, but my concern is wear and tear over the, over the years. Um, it cleaned up like in five seconds with a single paper towel. It only comes with a spatula, so you will have to uh, get your own spoon, get your own little plate, um, get your own little cutting board. Oh yeah, Stanley has a cutting board, which is great. So it really depends on what your preference is. I like the all in one. I like the durability of the Stanley, so I'm gonna choose that. Um, Obviously, if I'm going uh, hiking and I want to throw something in my backpack with my jet, jet oil stove, I'm going to use a jet oil pan. It's a lot lighter. And it's a lot simpler to clean. You're going to need some water probably for the other one and do a little, little cleaning depending on depending if you get some sticky food. If you do it right, it'll be easy cleaning. But nonetheless, non-stick pan will always win when it comes to cleaning so I hope the video helped you in any way and you know hopefully I get some more videos out because I know they're far in between um, but I got some things to do around the house so I'm gonna let you go have a good one and take care oh yeah follow me on Instagram uh, at steel on target YouTube and go ahead and follow me also on I have a uh, another Instagram that I started uh, showcasing SoCal NSX owners. So the Instagram is SoCal NSX owners. Simple. So see you guys there as well. Bye.